Welcome, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have spent a lot of time in Congress talking about the $700 billion TARP bailout, which I voted against as it happens. Not a whole lot has been talked about uh, with regard to the $2.2 trillion that the Fed has lent out. Mm -hmm. Now, I find that absolutely extraordinary uh, that I wrote you a letter and I said, hey, who'd you lend the money to? What were the terms of those loans? How can my constituents in Vermont get some of that money? Who makes the decisions? Do you guys sit around in a room? Do you make it? Are there conflicts of interest? So my question to you is, will you tell the American people to whom you lent $2.2 trillion of their dollars, will you tell us who got that money and what the terms are of those agreements? We, ex we explain each of our programs. In terms of the terms, we explain the terms exactly. We explain what the collateral requirements are. We explain what To whom did you explain are. that? It's, it's on our website. Yeah, okay. So all that information is available uh, in our commercial paper program. And who got the money? Hundreds and hundreds of banks. Any bank or, that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. You tell us who they are. No, because the reason that is counterproductive and will destroy the value of the program is that banks will not come to the... Oh, isn't that too bad? Sorry? In other words, isn't that too bad? They took the money, but they don't want to be public about the fact that they received it. We heard a whole lot about AIG. They're on the front pages. These are very now, I got banks and I have businesses in the state of Vermont who are in a lot of trouble. Not banks. Our banks, by the way, are doing pretty well. Now, how do these guys who are honest business people get it? Do you have to be a large, greedy, reckless financial institution to apply for these monies? There is no subsidy. There is no capital involved. There is no gift involved. It is a collateralized, short-term liquid loan that is both over-collateralized and is recourse to the company itself. We have never lost a penny doing it. And how can other institutions make, get, get the, those loans as well? According to the law, we are supposed to be lending to depository institutions. We well, let me just say this, Mr. Chairman. I have a hard time understanding how you have put $2.2 trillion at risk uh, without uh, making those names available, those institutions public. And we're going to introduce legislation today, by the way, to demand that you do that. It is unacceptable to me that that goes on.